Good morning, Wolverines. Here we are in our Boo studio, ready to talk about some really bad dad jokes again. So considering how bad they really were during the week, we've invited some new characters to join us for today's final event. So we have a Wolverine in light of playing Palm Beach Central later, which we're going to win. Okay. Then we have Batman. Looks a little different from Batman, but we're going to go with it. And then we have Caillou. So here we are. Get ready. Let's see who has the best bad dad joke. All right. Why did the small ghost join the football team? They needed a little team spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou wants to know, where do ghosts go on vacation? The Boo Hamas! <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a lot like my first joke. But, ready? Why did the skeleton climb the tree? Because a dog was after his bones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to vote today. There's going to be a link below. Just kidding. I just heard from the technical team there's no link because no. we're having difficulties. But we will have a poll in front of the 200 building where you can vote. Or you but can just yell at us in passing time. Vote yeah. Caillou! Vote Caillou! Give us a thumbs up. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the jokes and have a great day. Stay in class. Listen to your teachers. And we're back, Wolverines. That was special. <laughs> But for real, um, I would like to everyone just, just take a minute to watch this video coming up. We've had a lot of um, threats throughout the country for schools, and we take every single one of those threats very seriously. And the school district went ahead and made a video for you guys to watch so you can learn a little bit more about the process and what happens when someone actually makes a threat towards the school. You should know that any threat that's gone on recently has been fully investigated. Unfortunately, there have been some arrests um, because they made false threats. Um, so it is what it is, guys. Just take a minute, watch this video, and then take a little time uh, with your teachers to discuss. Okay? And that's all I have for today, and I hope everyone has a fabulous Friday that you come out to the game tonight and have a very safe weekend. Hello everyone, I'm School District Police Chief Dan Alexander. The number one priority of the district and school police is keeping you safe. It's important that you know that our officers and other staff on your campus are available to speak with you and support you. I thank each of you who has reported a threat or something that just didn't feel right to a school administrator or a trusted adult or through one of the district's threat reporting apps. We all have a role in keeping our schools safe. Unfortunately, here in Palm Beach County and across the country this school year, there has been an increase in the number of threats against school campuses made through social media, texts, gaming platforms, and other written notification systems. Our school district takes all threats seriously, and each one is investigated thoroughly. In Florida, making a threat against a school, even as a joke, is a second degree felony, which will have a profound impact on the future of a student who's found responsible. The district will pursue the most severe consequences, potentially including expulsion, for any student who was found to have made a threat to a school community. Since the beginning of the school year, the police department has filed criminal charges in several cases for threats against our schools. Meanwhile, other investigations are underway. These incidents have also resulted in school sanctions for students making threats. Through school police officers, cutting edge security technology, especially trained mental health professionals, the district is committed to keeping you and our campuses safe. If you are a student experiencing challenges, please know that help is available here at your school. Please reach out to your school counselor, behavioral health professional, school administrator, or another trusted adult. If you see something, say something or send something. Reporting activity this way, rather than reposting or sharing rumors, is constructive and important to the success of school safety. Again, please remember, we are all school safety. Thank you. Good morning, Wellington. Today is Friday, October 29th. I'm Morales. 
Underclassmen page and retakes are November 30th. Seniors, make sure you book senior portraits with Katie ASAP. The last day to be photographed is January 5th. Students, do you need help with your math homework? Do you need help with understanding mathematical concepts? Then you can take advantage of the Math Lab. Math Lab is every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday after school from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Be sure to come prepared with questions and topics. See you there. Please join HOSA today for the first ever Pink Pumpkin Contest. This in honor of breast cancer, Pink Out, that stands for Friday's game October 29th against PBC. Wear pink in support of breast cancer awareness. Purchase your school merchandise in the school store for our Blue Out football game during both lunches on Friday, October 29th. Attention class of 2022. Senior class shirts are in. Please bring your school cash online receipt to 2116 or email to stephanie.wilson at palmbeachschools.org to receive your shirt. The window for our first competition, Florida Association Math Honor Society Fall Interschool Test has opened. We will participate at Friday, October 29th in Portable 304 from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Scarlett Stephens, a.k.a. Ace, a.k.a. Karate Kid, a.k.a. Anger, made it to the regional meet. Wish her luck and a personal best for the race taking place November 6th. We had a great season this year with most athletes getting their personal best times and great friendships blooming. Reminder that tryouts for the freshman and JV boys basketball team are this Monday, November 1st in the gym from 3 to 4.30. You must have an athletic packet on file, $10 athletic insurance tryout fee paid, and get the all clear from Mr. Colobi before you are allowed to try out. Please arrange a ride home for after tryouts. Good luck. Join the boys weightlifting team. Practices start January 10th. Come be a part of a group looking to prove that the iron game translates to every game. Contact Coach Abella for more information. Ball ace testing is happening now. If you have received a statement of entry, please check it to make sure you know the dates and times of your ace exams. If you do not know, please see Ms. Drucker in the ace office room during lunch. Congratulations to Mrs. Mendez and Jose for your video on WPTV on breast cancer awareness. Keep it up, here's the video. We really want to be able to further medical innovation because they know when it comes to medical research, any little bit that they can get, it helps. New this morning, a group of young future medical workers at Wellington High School hoping to give back to those currently on the front lines. And through the student-created organization Future Healthcare Professionals, a Halloween-themed fundraiser is underway now. So the group is putting together gift baskets with candy, pens, and pumpkins, mm -hmm. and then turning them pink as a portion of the money raised will be donated to a breast cancer foundation. The rest will go back to the organization's community service projects and other fundraisers. So the money goes towards the research um, and also for helping out families with support groups um, and just really like, like Jordan said, supporting the families through breast cancer. Um, and really what's most important though is continuing the innovative research uh, for new treatments and you know new cures hopefully in the future. Because it is a student run fundraiser, they're in need of smaller sized pumpkins. So if you'd like to donate some pumpkins or you'd like to purchase a gift basket, you're asked to contact the group's advisor at uh, an email that we have on WPTV.com to search for that story. Today's SEL discussion is about individuality. Today, there should be a slide presentation of this or that shared with teachers. Please have your class participate. That's it for today. Thank you very much, and thanks for tuning in, and have a fantastic Friday at Wellington. Teachers, please start your SEL lesson now, please.